this is episode 10 of Mardukai TV Season 4. And what our emphasis has actually been on in this uh, serial has been the, uh, the final volume of the Mardukai Chamberlain's Necronomicon Anunnaki Cycle, uh, which is a pretty intensive curriculum. Um, the book that we're talking about is for, uh, Nine Gates of the Kingdom of Shadows, and you can find out more about not only this book, but the entire cycle that we discuss uh, at Mardukai.com or Necrogate.com. Now, getting back to Nine Gates of the Kingdom of Shadows, this archetype, uh, kind of conjured to mind by the Nine Gates, is, is very similar to that of the Necronomicon. Uh, to think about it, there's at the very least the obvious emphasis, like from Babylonian uh, systematic perspectives, of like portals, thresholds, gateways. Uh, this is this is almost like inseparably paramount to this type of, of lore. Um, now, following this esoteric and occult traditions, the gates are um, often introduced to the seeker under the guise of darkness, uh, because um, such was and, and remains to be the perception of what is forbidden and, and hidden knowledge. And we've talked about the nature of, of hidden aspects of reality in a prior episode on the season. So, at the very least, uh, such can be hidden in the realm of light. For uh, Pito Avenda, uh, had so concisely said of the Simonian Necronomicon, uh, this was on a uh, podcast called Plus Ultra, uh, produced by Tracy Twyman. So he says that, you know, it's a book about darkness, sure, but he reiterates that it's not a book like about packs with, with devils or anything so trivial um, and trite like you would find in the Grand Grimoire. Red Dragon Grimoire, uh, things of that nature. Uh, more importantly, it's it's a nearly prehistoric methodology for understanding the darkness, and this is something you know when when someone gets really into uh, their their kind of anti thesis to the realm of light, and they feel rebellious about it this natural inclination to seek these darker paths, left-hand paths, or whatever you want to call them. Uh, such is often the case with the Necronomicon. It's thought to be this, uh, you know, even in the Simonian perspective, it's, uh, as far as the, the presentation of the book, people who do not understand the Anunnaki, the Babylonian, the Sumerians, the existence of reality as we know it on this planet, uh, they just kind of throw it into this kind of devil worship, you know, left hand kind of way. It's it's an evil book. It's a book that makes you crazy when you read it. Uh, this right there should show you the nature of the human condition and just how botched it really is. Now, the Nine Gates, uh, Roman Polanski, we can see by his choice of, of directing the Ninth Gate, uh, he's very much interested in this esoteric enigma like the Necronomicon. And it's interesting that both Kenneth Grant and Simon have acknowledged in their own respective words the, contribu the contribution of uh, what he did. I mean, not even knowing this, compare the Ninth Gate movie to El Club Dumas and recognize where the emphasis lies. Uh, this is, uh, you know, I mean, even the name Della Melanicon, as the Nine Gates is said to be based on, seems very much similar to the Necronomicon. So in his book, Dead Names, uh, Simon explains that, quote, anyone who met me in those days in the 1970s would recognize the Johnny Depp character, glasses, beard, black clothes, black raincoat, bag over one shoulder, the intrigue that follows some of the events in the real story, the story of the publication of the Necronomicon, includes the references to wealthy individuals who sought the power of the book for themselves. 
So, uh, another, another reference, uh, as I mentioned before, that, that would be Simon's. Another reference would be, uh, those who are familiar with the other side of the mystery tradition are probably aware of the OTO series of trilogies uh, produced by Kenneth Grant. And the final volume of this sequence of literature is actually called The Ninth Arch, and it was released in 2002, three years after the Ninth Gate movie was released, and almost a decade after uh, the birth of El Club Dumas in Spain. So, the current editor's position, my own, is really that the title bears some synchronicity with another. There's obviously this kind of mass awakening taking place, hybridization of the population. Um, those who are going to be receptive to it first are obviously those with an inclination towards things that are considered by contemporary semantics to be New Age or, or, or magical or what have you. Obviously going to be more sensitive to the things that are happening behind the scenes that are actually happening right people's focus seems intent on, on other things. Um, so, <laughs> honestly, all of this lore kind of suggests uh, that there is obviously beneath the surface of the light, and in the betweens, another part of the mystery for the seeker, and that is the darkness, the shadows. And in, in most cases, you know, the, the seeker will just rush to throw lights against the screen again, pressing images from their own experiences in the light, not allowing the self onyx experience to unfold. Um, you don't need to materialize demonic images or cast fears, um, because this is this will just manifest based on one's own will. This is not self honesty so the pursuit of darkness at the latter point in the, the cycle of, the, of what is presented by the Mardukai Chamberlains is not a glorification of darkness or the pursuit of darkness in itself, but the final understanding of where darkness and light were separated at the beginning of creation, formation of the universe, matrix existence, uh, polarities. These are all of the paramount key things to really uh, doing any of these other metaphysical or, you know, magical or occult pursuits. It, and there, there are many systematic ways, you know, post-Babylon that seem to try and, try and explain it while still remaining within their systems, but there is a core behind this, and that is what is pursued in the Arnakite Chamberlain's Necronomicon on Naki Cycle. Um, if you would like more information uh, beyond what we can obviously relay here, we have a blog site set up at Necrogate, and you can see many of our titles available for you to study this at your own leisure at Marticite.com.